Welcome back to Twine Game, where we're going to play Hotel Empire Tycoon. Let's get started, shall we? Welcome. Welcome to Continental. My name is Jean-Pierre, and I will be helping you manage your new hotel. Of course. I only offer my services to highly qualified people, and I've only heard great things about you. Together, we can surely offer our guests an extraordinary stay. Okay. I believe this business is new for you, so let's start with the basics. Cool. It's already 12 p.m. That means check-in time has started. Our first customer is about to arrive. Oh, here she comes. So slow. Okay. Oh my gosh, checking in is so slow too. I can't wait to upgrade this. Oh yeah. <laughs> Great. Now our new guest will go to their room to leave their luggage. Their stay will be charged by the hour. Bye bye, hope you enjoy. Maybe I shouldn't be saying goodbye to customers that just arrived. Success. Oh. Awesome. Once our new guest belongings are in the room, they can enjoy all the services that the hotel has to offer. Of course. We could take the opportunity to purchase some items to improve the room. Sure. Okay. Let's purchase a bedside table to make things more comfortable for our guest. It will increase room profits. <laughs> Ooh, he seems excited. Perfect! Now the room has a higher price, so the client will pay more for every hour. We could upgrade the toilet now. It's greatly appreciated by our guests and essential for a comfortable stay. I almost feel like he's the boss. Yes. <laughs> Basic needs are now covered. <laughs> okay. Let's watch our guests use the hotel services. Oh, I please, I don't want to watch the guests use the toilet. Please don't use the toilet. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried I was gonna have to watch the guests use huh? the toilet. Oh, it's already lunchtime! Oh. And we haven't hired any chefs yet. Guests won't be able to eat in the restaurant. Oh no! Please. Quickly, let's go to the restaurant and hire a chef. Yes, let's do that. Immediately. Tap the restaurant staff tab to manage the team of chefs. <laughs> he always seems so excited. Bon appetit! Now that we have a chef, our restaurant can offer dining services at our hotel. Every time a guest uses any hotel services, we'll get immediate profits, so make sure to improve them. Cool. Let's see what our guest thinks about our restaurant service. I wonder why he keeps saying our hotel. I thought he was just here to help me. I thought it was all mine! <laughs> <clears throat> Whew, I almost went a little crazy there. Whew. Ooh, I'm so excited. I can't scroll around yet, so we must sit here and watch her dine. Like it's 1999. Oh, yeah. See? Jean Pierre likes my excellent. Increasing profits is always a good thing. Okay. But there's something important you must not forget. Staff wages. Of course. Each time they finish their shift, we must pay them their wages. So we have to manage our finances really carefully. Not enough. If our cash balance is negative, it will hinder our growth. Staffs could even resign. 
unacceptable. So I strongly recommend you adjust the number of staff whenever necessary to avoid financial losses. But you shouldn't worry about this prematurely. We still have other things to see about running the hotel. One of them is the hotel electricity supply. Of course. We have our own electrical room with a power generator. It generates electricity for the hotel lighting and appliances. Okay. But it has a small limit to capacity, so if we don't have enough power, you must upgrade the generator and buy more batteries. Cool. Another key aspect is to how the guests arrive at the hotel. They could arrive by foot or with their own vehicle. <laughs> the hotel has private parking. Guests can safely park there, generating parking profits. Oh. Guests won't come by chance though. We must invest in advertising to increase the customer base. Okay. We can run different advertising companies. Some are more effective than others. The cost per hour for the more effective ones is highest. Immediate. Let's start by running a newspaper campaign. It's the cheapest option and should bring some new customers to our hotel. Yes. Great. Customers will come more frequently now. If we should suffer financial problems, we can always disable it. You can deactivate advertising campaigns whenever you want big red disable button all right i got it that should be it you now know everything you need to start play <coughs> working to start off you should focus on improving the hotel by building more rooms in order to increase profits really keep in mind that things should always be profitable you may want to buy new hotels in the future of course tips from guests are always important make sure you offer them the most extraordinary service oh yeah i prepared a list of recommended tasks for you. I'll be at the back office if you need me. Good luck. I guess I'm not getting rid of him anytime soon. New missions, eh? Buy a TV for one of the rooms. Buy a wash basin for one of the rooms. Increase the number of restaurant tables to two. That seems to be easy enough. Wash basins. I like how it says buy a wash basin, but then it's like sink. Nice. TV. Awesome. Well, I still have you here. Don't forget to check out the description down below. I have a link to Amazon for all the equipment that I use and a link to the current game that I am playing. Yes. This list just keeps going on. Build a double room. Upgrade the restaurant food to level three. Upgrade a double bed to level two. Upgrade the room itself. Oof, those things cost diamonds. Mm. Let's get the basic necessities in this one first. I need to wash my hands. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, money. Oh, tip jar. That's awesome. That's kind of neat for a game. Oh, I'm gonna watch this video. Nice! Hey, where are you going, guy? Oh, people paid for parking. That's awesome. Are these guys gonna sleep here all night? I mean, I guess it's a hotel. What else does it say? Build a double room. Oh. 
I guess I would have to go to him to build the double room, but I definitely don't have enough coin for that yet. Ooh. Tips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Dude, you gotta be careful. I'm doing this for the money for now. Almost enough for a double room. What do you guys think of this game so far? I'm definitely gonna play this game for a while and then uh, get some extra features to see what else we can do. Hey, are you people ever gonna wake up? Whoa! Did you just see that? They trashed the rooms! Filthy people. Even I don't trash my rooms that bad. Now they're having breakfast. I am almost there. I think I need 800. Yes, I need 800 for double room. Well, here comes the guy to give me more money. This should push me over the edge. Hello. Great, you've made enough money to build new room. I know, I've been saving for it. Excellent. This is our first double room. We can now accommodate couples and get double the profit. Cool. Keep up the good work and we'll soon have an amazing hotel. Aw, oh, thank you so much. Upgrade the restaurant food to level 3. I don't upgrade the food. Yes. Upgrade the double bed to level two. Increase the number of parking in the place. Too bad I can't click on it just to bring me there. What is this? No, my stuff is full right now. There we go. Increase the number of housekeeper staff to two. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that yet. I'm just getting started. And she seems to be keeping up fairly well. Build the battery. Build a hotel bar. Yeah. You, how do I build a hotel bar? 6,000? All right, everybody. So this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna end the video off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and that little notification bell so that you can see me every Monday and Friday at 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. I'm going to play a little more on my own. And then what's gonna happen after that? is I'm going to come back with part two and show you all the tips and tricks of the games that I have learned. This is Twy in Game. Twy out.